Lately, I've been doing a lot of vlogging in my car with my phone, and so I picked up a Vic Seed MagSafe car mount. We're gonna unbox this thing, install it in our car, try it out and see how it works for being able to do some vlogging with my smartphone in my car. Because I've gotten a lot of comments on some of my videos about not being safe while vlogging in my car because I'm like using both hands and not paying attention to what I'm doing apparently. I am paying attention to what I'm doing. Anyways, I'm hoping this is going to help with the not taking my hands off the wheel and get my car, my phone mounted up there to use for vlogging as well as holding my phone while I'm using it for GPS in my car and other things you know what if i needed to take a call on speakerphone and didn't want my phone down in my cup holder while doing it because you know that probably sounds real weird on the other end of the phone i don't know but let's open this up and let's try it out and see how it works out for us it is a magsafe car mount so if unlike me you have an iphone 12 or newer it has the magsafe built in so you'll be able to just kind of like magnetic magnetize 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 magnetic magnetize your phone right to it without having to add anything to it otherwise this comes with like the ring for your phone like this phone my uh samsung phone that does not have the magsafe built into it so let's open this up and see what we got today all right we're gonna open it up see what it comes with in the case and then we'll get out to the car. Oh, I ripped the package. That is a party foul. There, some finesse. All right, let's get some finesse in here. And all right, box is empty. Get rid of that sucker. This is instructions. I'm not gonna read those out loud to you guys. You know how to read instructions, right? Anyways, little book tells us some stuff about it. I did this on one of my other videos um, with a MagSafe. This helps you guide your mounting on your phone. Adhesive tool card. It says, please keep this card. You can use this card to remove adhesive. See how that works out. This is the car mount. It has the 3M adhesive on the back. This stuff, every time I've used it, has lasted for a very long time. It is designed in a way where you're going to get like about a 45 degree angle if you mounted it flat. On mine, I'm probably going to mount it like so, because I have a spot on my dash like this so that I can get it so that my phone's looking at me. Now, once we mount it, we need to wait and let the adhesive stay for 24 hours before we go shoot with it. So we're gonna mount it today, and then I'm gonna go vlog with it tomorrow. Now, it won't seem like tomorrow to you guys because it'll be like that, but we'll go mount it, and then tomorrow morning, I'll vlog with it and we'll test it out and kind of wrap this up seeing how, how well it worked. What else is in our package? These are transparent stickers. I'm guessing these are guides to help mount. Oh, they give us a replacement 3M for the back in case you needed to move it or take it out of a car. Oh, two replacements, my bad. That means if you sell your car or you just wanna be able to take it out of that car and move it or replace where it's at, you can. Three magnetic rings. So three phones, if your wife drives your car, she can put one on her phone or husband, if you're the wife watching this right now or your child that's learning to drive or grandma, or if you're hearing it to your phone case and you switch your phone case, then you have uh, more options to go ahead and use these. That's kind of nice. The last MagSafe thing I purchased did not come with multiple rings. It only had one ring. Actually, my old phone has a ring on it from the last MagSafe thing I used. So that phone actually would mount already. It's crossover, crossover from other MagSafe products. So if you're already using MagSafe, you're ready to go. All right, after looking closer and reading instructions, I figured a couple other things out. The three rings, they're actually different. So two of them are thin and one of them's thick. The thick one is for if you have like a textured backing on your case or your phone itself, but my phone case is smooth. So you use one of the thin rings, but you also use these clear stickers that they have. So you're gonna put that on first. And my guess is the clear sticker is to help it adhere to the phone on a smoother surface, on a yet even smoother surface. 
but also it's probably going to help with removing it if you ever need to take it off because it does have this little nub on it. Now the clear stickers that I showed you that it came with, those are to hold this in place. And then you go ahead and line it up. And so we're just gonna adhere it on here right now. Press it, making sure we get all the bubbles out. This is the thicker one. Um, and if you squeeze the thicker one, you can feel that it's kind of got like a foam in there, which likely is just so that it can kind of form around ridges and stuff. Um, and then these ones that are for the smoother one does not have the foam. Let's go ahead and put this on. So I'm peeling off my blue here. And then I gotta line this sucker up and make sure that it goes on there. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the guide here. And it looks like it's on there. I oddly didn't line it up perfectly with the clear one, but it is sticking. I'm just gonna kind of test it to the holder. All right, well, the instructions were a little vague on that clear one. It did say to use the clear one unless you're using the thicker one, but it didn't seem to be sticking right. So I removed the clear one and just adhered the metal to the phone case and it seems to be sticking a lot better. So I'm not sure what that clear one's about. I didn't use it and I'm, and I'm thinking I'm going to be happy with it without using it. Like the one for the other MagSafe system that I had did not have an extra clear ring to then adhere your metal to it. So I, I didn't use it. Um, you can experiment yourself and use it or don't use it, but I took mine off and now it feels more secure. It just, I know it says to set for 24 hours, but you would think you could like adhere to it without like pulling the whole thing off. And it immediately pulled the whole thing off. But now without it, it's not pulling the whole thing off. It's not even acting like it's lifting off. Now it's super strong. Like I wouldn't be surprised if it pulled it off, but I'm more confident with this without that plastic. The only thing it really says is that you don't use the transparent sticker if you're using the thick metal one. But I didn't like using the transparent sticker. Either way, without the transparent sticker, I have the thin metal ring attached to the back of my phone case that clearly sticks to the MagSafe car mount. Now our next step is to go mount this in the car and then try it out. In the car, I had to turn on my heat for a little bit because you should have your car pretty warm, at least over 59 degrees to be able to adhere this and actually have it stick. You don't want a cold car for using anything sticky. So I don't have the perfect spot on my dash for it, but I'm gonna do right here. And I have a little Windex on a paper towel. You could also use the wipes that they give you, but if you, you should clean your dash. So like clean it best you can, but then dry the space. So I'm using a dry part of it. I actually have a whole dry rag, a dry paper towel that doesn't have anything on it. And then it even says on your piece here, um, it has a little sticker that says to press for 20 seconds and then let's stand for 24 hours before using it. So I'm gonna peel this off of my 3M. I'm gonna line it up as best I can to where it's gonna work for me. And some of it's going to kind of overhang a little bit. And that is that. So it is on there. Don't need that big of a space on your dash to be able to mount this. So pretty awesome. And I didn't mention this before, but all of the backing of this and this itself, it's all made of metal. The only thing that possibly isn't might be the ball in here, but it feels like it is. But it, it feels like very sturdy material. Um, and then like you have this nice like kind of rubberized ring here that's gonna keep it from kind of like being rowdy when it hits. All right, so I'm sticking my phone on there. We're gonna be careful, didn't wait 24 hours, so I don't expect it to, but yeah, this angles nicely, and I think I'll be able to shoot this way also. So, and it's sticking. It doesn't feel like it's going to come off easily. So, that's not waiting 24 hours, that's waiting about 15 minutes. We're not gonna drive with it like this. I'll see you in a flash for you guys, but for me, It'll be tomorrow and we'll shoot a quick video with my phone while I'm driving so I can see if it works well for vlogging while driving. All right guys.
and we're at the next day and I've dropped my daughter off at school, but my son's back there still in the backseat. Carl, can you peek around and say hi? Look at the camera real quick and say hi. hi. See, Carl's in the backseat and I'm driving around and seeing how this works. I can have a hand on the steering wheel without holding a phone. So that's awesome. Um, yeah, great little product. It seems to be holding the phone great and shake it around and it doesn't go anywhere. I'm batting the bottom of it and it's solid. So pick one up for yourself. Check out the links in the description. You snag one for yourself. Great way to keep your hands on the wheel and still be able to use your phone in the car. Check out what YouTube recommends to you right there. And don't forget to subscribe for more budget videography, gear, tips, tricks, and all that fun stuff. I'm gonna go shoot some more stuff and I'll have a video for you next week. Go shoot something. Don't forget to post it. Be proud of your work. Peace out, guys. I'll see you next week with another one.